Hi again, this is the second video in SAP tutorial in which we are going to define materials and then we will define sections. But before that, we have to save our file. So, to continue from the previous lesson, we open the file and then we have to save it. Save as and select the location, name it as any name that you want. Okay, after that, if you want to customize the colors and thicknesses, you can go to options and from here, colors, display, and you can customize everything. If you want the background to be black, just like AutoCAD, you can click here and select the black color and OK. But for me, I prefer the white color. And to change the size of the displayed font, you can go to Options and Dimensions and Tolerance. And from here, Maximum Graphic Font Size, you can set it to 10 and the Minimum to 9 or any two numbers. For example, if I enter here 6 and here 10, the program will fluctuate between these two values. Okay, as you see here, the size of the letters has been changed. To define materials, go to the tab of define materials. As you see here, we have just two materials. The first one is concrete and the second one is steel. We can add new materials or we just can modify them by selecting them. Then click on modify. Name it any name. For example, for me, I'll name it as concrete 24 and change the weight per unit volume to be 24. Nothing has to be changed here. And OK. For steel sections, we don't need to define steel sections at this stage. We will define them later, then click on OK. In order to define sections, go to Define, and from here Section Properties, then Frame Section. Then we can add new property. We have selected Concrete, and after that Rectangular. We name the first one as column 20 by 50. This column has a depth of 0.5 and a width of 0.2 meters. Then we select that material that we have defined previously. Then OK. Now we add new property. It's called beam. It's called beam. 20 by 60. It has a depth of 0.6 and a width of 0.2. Select the material and we can set it to be beam from here. Okay. We don't have to modify the cover right now. Then okay. Columns and beams are called frame sections, while slabs are called area sections. So in order to define a slab, go to define, then area sections. After that, we select shell and add new section. We name it as slab and we select shell and the question that comes is what is the difference between shell plate and membrane well membrane is known for its tension resistance while plate is known for its bending resistance and shell is a combination of the two types so we select shell and it's thin because usually all types of slabs 
are thin that are used in real life okay and from here we can specify this thickness as 0.2 then okay now we add new section we name it as raft 70 centimeters and its shell and here 0.7 and 0.7 then okay now we are done with defining materials and defining sections in the next video we will start modeling this is the end of this video thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe bye